scene of the Mako attraction, a guest will actually rise up to the shipwreck and get to the very top. So you're looking at a station that's about 40 to 50% complete in scenic, uh, and about 10% complete in show. Uh, the unique thing about Mako, uh, we really want to take advantage of the, the moment at Manta that everybody loves, when the seats rise up, and it's that great sound, and everybody cheers and claps. We took that and we kind of quadrupled the experience here at Mako. So this is a very smart station. It's a show-driven station that will react to the movements of the ride and the dispatch and the ride operators themselves. It will actually run through various show sequences uh, when we get the dispatch clear from our operations team. Uh, what guests will see, hanging below this blue ceiling, which is the backdrop, are scenic elements that represent the ocean, the crayfish, and some sharks swimming overhead. Through that scenic, you'll see the content on a large LCD screen that just came in from Hong Kong on Saturday. Um, and it's behind this milky substrate because it's meant to look like you're looking at the surface of the ocean and you see the shadows of these animals swimming above you. You'll see sharks and various crayfish swimming above. When we get the dispatch button, those sharks will tri it'll trigger a show sequence above that will actually have the Mako shark strike its crayfish in front of you here about car three. And then the, the fish will scatter, and the Mako will start swimming forward in the direction of travel of the train. Again, speaking to the guests about you're the Mako shark, this is Mako point of view. Sharks eat fish, they don't eat humans, let's go on a ride. It's a pretty simple story to understand, uh, and it's the one that guests really expect from us when it comes to posters and animals within all of our parks. You're also listening to about, there's about 38 minutes of original music in about seven different zones throughout the attraction, including the original pieces that we talked about in the Shark Plaza that will tr trigger when the train comes through the plaza. And also, there's three unique pieces as you go up the lift that will exactly synchronize and match up with the descent, the lift and the descent over the hill. Um, all scored by the same composers located here in Orlando, a really talented gentleman that we found that does a lot of our music for us. So. All right.